Greg, it was interesting. Uh, a bunch of people agreed that you had a, a weekend where uh, the Eagles lost, the Niners lost, so no more undefeated team. 72 Dolphins could celebrate. But a lot of people saying the Dolphins were the best team in the NFL uh, through through six weeks. And so I know you're impressed with the offense. Uh, Hawk was in here yesterday, Andrew Hawkins, Tomahawk Podcast. He said that Tariq Hill is the best player, non-quarterback division, in the NFL. And I agree with him. Uh, the Dolphins are overwhelming. I'm not certain they're not the best team in the NFL right now, Greg. I, I think they are at this minute. Uh, they're, they're an underdog in Philadelphia, uh, but only by two and a half points, which is very interesting. Uh, definitely they have the best offense. I think it's the best offense in Dolphins history. And, and when I write that, I get a lot of criticism. Eh, too soon. What about this? What about that? Look, the Dolphins won Super Bowls with Larry Zonka because they ran the ball better than anybody and barely passed. They were ex- as exciting as ever and broke NFL records with Dan Marino because they passed the ball like nobody else, but they didn't have a great running game. Right. Now they're doing both. Uh, they can run the ball like crazy. They lead the league in, in rushing. Raheem Mostert has 11 touchdowns in six games. And, and Tua is everything they thought he would be when they drafted him number five ahead of Herbert. Tua is the favorite in the MVP odds right now. Should be. With, with great reason. Yep. And, and I just think this is the most dynamic, well-balanced – uh, inventive, exciting offense I've ever had. Can we end the debate between Herbert and Tua? Yes. Is it officially wow. yes. over? Wow. Yes. Someone's yeah. making a noise. Where's the noise coming from? Not uh, Tony's uh, not ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can we see Justin Herbert without Brandon Staley? At that point, maybe with a better coach, I'd be intrigued. We're going to ask that question about Justin Herbert for his whole career, right? Hmm. Yes. We're just going to keep asking, like, oh, but what if he was with a better coach? Oh, always. Just he has like the most not, unbelievable like, weapons, too. Just like now, C.J. Uh, Stroud and, uh, and Bryce Young are always going to be compared throughout their career. But Herbert's been in the league, what, four years? And if Staley gets fired and he gets a new coach, it will be his third coach in five years. No, it's a shame for I mean, him. He's a, he's a really great quarterback, but I guess it's the way that we're constantly doing these comparisons between the two of them when one of them – is not only winning, but breaking all of these records statistically and having a spectacular season. Obviously, like the system has something to do with that. It would yeah. be crazy to yeah. say that it's not Mike McDaniel in some capacity, but also different quarterbacks fit in different systems, different ways. And Justin Herbert has his flaws that maybe wouldn't work if he was just in the system. I think there's so many people saying, oh, well, if Herbert was in a spot, it would be even better. I don't I have no reason to believe that's the case. I have uh, something that's probably not popular, especially down here in Miami. <laughs> oh, boy. Dolphins offenses have ruined football for me. Like, I can't watch a football game that's not the Dolphins. It's done now. the exact opposite for me. I just it's can't. Made football amazing. Like, yeah. I'm watching. No, it's, it's great, but I'm saying it's ruined the rest of football for me. Like, I can't watch just a single game that's not the Dolphins. Like, if I see in, it's the third quarter. It's like. I don't know, fourteen to nine or something. I can't watch it. I'm the like, Patriots this is option doesn't do it. Well, for I'm you? like, why? Why can't you guys just score? I don't understand. Like, why? Why does it take you so long to score? Why can't you just score in three plays in forty five <laughs> seconds? Like, what's going on? They here? spoiled you. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. Uh, what, is that what Iowa is like? I can't imagine watching <laughs> Iowa football. No, we don't score that much. <laughs> That's crazy. Why Billy, not? They won a game fifteen to six over the weekend. But why don't really you just? Nice why don't you just try having everyone yeah. go in motion you and throwing the more. ball? Yeah. Why don't you just score more? Just get all the fast players get in the country. Tight ends running early. Yeah, why can't you just do that? I don't get it. <laughs> there have Me been either. so many seasons in the past, so many Dolphin seasons in the past, where if they're behind 14 to nothing in the first quarter, right. the crowd is leaving. Everybody's giving up. The game they, is over. The game is over. Tua was laughing on yes. the sideline after they scored the second touchdown, and I'm like, whoa. Right. Like, because I thought they were going to come back, but I'm like, I don't know. That's we're supreme just... confidence. He you was smiling after the second touchdown on the sideline. When they were behind 14 nothing, they were still, you know how the odds update now? Uh, Christopher pointed this out to me. I didn't know it. When they're down 14 to nothing, they're still a minus 200 favorite to win the game. There was no doubt. And it wasn't just because Carolina sucks, oh. which it does. Right. It's because the Dolphins' offense is, until somebody proves otherwise, almost unstoppable. And like five years ago, we were watching Jay Cutler throw passes to Devontae Parker. <laughs> right. Like that was, and that was supposed to be the height of excitement yes. of the Dolphins' offense since Dan Marino. Yeah, amazing. And now it's this. So this is the best offense. That's saying a lot considering Marino, Clayton, Duper, and that yeah, offense. I think so because now they have a running game, and, and the offensive line has exceeded expectations. Uh, and and Jalen Waddle is your second-best receiver. Yeah. It, it, there's just so many reasons they're great. One of them is team speed. 
Uh, Raheem Mostert is the, the fastest running back in the NFL, and he's the fourth or fifth fastest guy in their offense. It, it's crazy speed led by the cheetah, and, uh, and it's, it's just it's fun to watch. It's the Dolphins are running the Mostert. Hmm. Well done. There you go. Raheem has the most touchdowns in the NFL. He does indeed. Mm, and you know it. And you know it.